Let's hear it for the next lightning talk. it would be. That's me, a big face, not that handsome. Uh, I'm Utpal. The name is pretty long, but that's how I go by. Call me that. Um, I love it, going to the mountains. And I do a little bit of taking pictures. But when I'm not doing those things, I somehow, somehow maintain some time to design also. What that means is I'm here for you to talk about today is uh, designing for AI. This is something that has been a hot topic, has been for a hot topic for a couple of years now. But what has been left out has been ethics, right? We can design, design can generate a lot of things. I have heard words about Gen AI. So what we are thinking about, what is AI? AI is fun, right? Most of us think, oh, AI is fun. It can generate stuff for me. But when we talk about ethics, Nah, nobody likes it, right? Uh, at least our designers don't like it. It's just a barrier. Uh, let me uh, talk to what Vivek was saying earlier, storytelling, right? Let me put you point together so that I can put the point forward why it is important. I'll take a, story, take a story of two people. This person is very close to me. She, she is 63 years old, suffering from failing health, numerous failing health. He needs help, not in the country, but outside he is staying. And Cassie is a caregiver. So he has a failing health, Cassie is a caregiver. So who is Cassie, by the way? She loves, she is very passionate, has been looking after uh, Joy for around 11 years now. And she loves Joy, helping her and kind of getting it together. And she works for a healthcare service. It's a private healthcare service. I'll not take names. Uh, they have started using recently using AI to help Cassie to fill up a lot of documentation they usually do digitally fill it up. What that looks like, so this is the new, this interface is the interface that they use. Uh, they fill up some details, patient details. So AI has been filling it up for Cassie. What happened? So they have been filling up sex and initials out of that big massive form. So AI filled it up to help, but it did it wrong. Uh, and he forgot to tell Cassie that he did it wrong. Now, this is the piece where I want to kind of go forward, is that Joy, he is born a female, but identifies as a male. And we need to be cognizant about people's uh, identification, and we need to be sure about that our technology is supported. And he expects him to be called by Mr., not a Miss. Cassie knows that. Cassie has been doing it for 11 years, but the AI did not. So what that led to is the service industry that Cassie was working for has been sued by some of the people, not Joy, but some of the people, and they had financial losses, maybe misdiagnosis, I have not gotten numbers yet, and reputation lost. This is the biggest thing that any enterprise would lose if you do it wrong. Now, what you need to get from here is AI is not human. I think there are a couple of playbacks that have been done earlier in these sessions that uh, I heard that AI, think AI as your UX intern, right? But it's not a human intern. AI is not human, and it's definitely not Cassie. It's definitely not you. So what can design do? This is where we come in. Right. So we have seen and we have thought about this, we have read about this, we have done research around it. So we went go to look at reading. That's what we usually do. We go for reading. And there is a, a couple of years back, uh, David has uh, published this paper on AI ethics and design. This is beyond uh, when AI became a hot thing. And he talked about you know, having this concept. That's a big paper, but I took it, this notion out of it. Uh, motivate morally acceptable practices. So you'll see the word morally, and then prescribe the basic duties and obligations necessary for product ethically, fair, and safe AI applications. So we took that into our strides. What we took, morally acceptable, 
this is not a light bulb moment, but it is I still for the security sake and ethical fair and safe AI applications. So we at IBM, we talk about leading by AI, not leading by software, leading by AI. So this is very important for us now. Uh, so we came up with, like any other design group, a uh, couple of AI design principles. There are 10 of them. I'll not talk about all of them. Then it becomes a sermon and a preaching. So I'll talk about three things that are near to my heart. Uh, aren't trust, the fifth one out of that 10 list, aren't trust with transparency. Everybody knows about this. So think of the same form. So same form while filling up has been because it is female as sex, initials will be filled by AI as miss, as the option. So we thought that why not distinguish what AI has filled with a small slug kind of a thing and what humans have been filling. So the date has not been filled by, has not been filled by an AI, has to be filled by AI. So this distinguishing is important. Then the second part, which is the seventh one, is designed for human in the loop. Human never goes away, human is always there. What that means? That when AI puts up something, I should be able to change Miss to Mr. very, very easily. And also restore the change if AI did, it, did the job right. Now, the last one that I would say, if somebody cannot see, uh, always built for explainability. So what that means, we have heard about models, we have heard about a lot of these jargons, these are tough to understand for anybody who is using. Cassie does not understand for say. So what she needs to know is when I click on that thing, I should be able to explain what is the confidence of this AI that is filling up this thing for you. Where did it got the information from? So we talk about, like in AI, we talk about, or in design, we talk about multiple whys, right, had to be asked. So in here, why don't we ask, and why don't we explain what, where, and why? Which data has been used to model up? So now, what we want to do here is to have a joy of Cassie to help joy here. So the intention was this. It led to something else. So this is the intention that we wanted to get to. So if you can take something from this, like nine minutes or maybe less, is when you design, all of us are designers here, when you design, please make sure that you do not become that application. Make sure you, what you design is transparent. Make sure you do not neglect the human in the loop. And also explain a little bit what the AI is doing. And you can find me here. Thank you. Yes, sir. How come AI has, uh, what triggered AI to write F there first, in the first place? I, I mean, what All right. was the, yeah. So although this is not my application that I have built, I've given, I'll just give you the background knowledge. So AI has been trained to understand the F and with the F to define the initials, which is uh, mixed gender, Mr. or Miss, right? So that's how the AI has pre-filled or auto-filled the things that, are, that this person or AI is not supposed to. So although it has filled up, it did not even tell Cassie that I already filled it up for you. So she just yes. went ahead and glanced to do filling other things. But what was the data, the backup data, on the basis of which AI filled F? OK. So if you see, uh, let me go to this slide. So this is the data from NHS that they have used to get the data for Joy, which is already there. But the interpretation is wrong of the data because that data thought that I, because I got female, therefore I should say miss. Because miss data was not there, female data was there in the actual health data. So the interpretation of AI was wrong. So the model training was wrong. Uh, there's background technologies around it, but these are the things that I can comprehend. This is what we want to stay away from for saving our reputation, at least in healthcare area, which is very secure area. Thank you for the question. Just one question, um, sort of related to what you talked about, but goes one level deeper. Have you ever encountered a situation where uh, the ethics and the ethical principles that you've built are conflicting with the ROI of that organization? Very good question. Thank you very much. It always does. 
<laughs> it always does. It, it, so basically what we need to do, there is a lot of investment is going into AI. So being, uh, being morally right is important in this world. As businesses, you can do business one time where you make a ROI, but next year it will be very bad for you. Therefore, the reputation uh, thing, right? So yes, it does. But you have to make sure you allocate a budget to define those. Um, this is how I'd say this. Uh, ROIs, yes, but slowly and more often, other businesses that we support or other enterprises that we support, they're cognizant about it. They're OK to get a hit on the ROI and still be conscious about people's emotions and being morally right. So yes, it does, to be short. But uh, people are ready to take that hit. Yep. Thank you. Hopefully, right. I got that question. All right.